Today, I went to Soweto to meet Judy and Mamkete and the ladies of the Maskatele Sewing Group. And it was really beautiful to just see these women making these bags from <laughs> material that you would never even think is plastic. I spoke to Mamukete and she was telling me about how her sewing group obviously had just been, you know, a sewing group. And Judy came to them and started involving them in this sewing scheme. And these ladies are able to empower themselves and get more business and just grow and take care of their families through making these bags that come from recycled material. Yeah, Maskatele is recycling. Then from recycling, he buys material. Then we say it's like a corona for manufacturing. Yeah, so we produce some debug. Judy, so I just got to meet some of the ladies from your sewing group here. It's so amazing what they're doing with this material. Is this the only group or are they more? Gosh, no. We've actually got over 200 men and women who are involved with the Muscatella journey. And these sewers are absolutely amazing. And what it is about is community spirit, spirit of free enterprise. Where does that journey actually start? That's a very interesting question. See, Wilma has teamed up with an entrepreneur by the name of Willie Ramashaba. What I'd love to challenge you to do is to join me seven hours away in Palabora, where the bottle is found by the most incredible waste entrepreneurs and turned into this beautiful material. The road to Bulogwane was long. Firstly, what a beautiful drive. I mean, I drive to Limpopo all the time, but I had never, ever, ever been through Zanin before. It was so lush. There were these tall, trees all on the sides of the road where as the rest of the province is quite dry you know eventually i got to Rahulo william ramushaba lindy you have at long last you <laughs> will meet you are welcome thank you you are you welcome so and uh, we are going to start right over there that's okay. where the material Okay, we're well, at. All right, let's Can get we go? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah, Thank this you. is a big landfall, hey? Yes, it is. He showed me exactly how it all starts. Did you see that truck that just left? Yes. They come over here, they uh, offload, and this is our ladies. It's part of the 31 ladies who yeah. are full time. Yes. Onto this landfill. They are mining that landfill. They're oh picking up the recyclables mm. out of that. You can see that this is not like an easy environment to work in. On the mass Catele side, it is self-funded from the commitment that we have from the ladies in the community. Off it goes mm. to make that cloth. Yes, yes. We go and buy that cloth back to Palavora to make those bag. uh, Muscatella bags. Wow. It was really kind of heartbreaking to see the landfill juxtaposed with the surrounding nature. Like right below where the landfill was is like a watering hole area. Like I could imagine animals coming there to drink water and, and right above that, it looked like a sea of waste. After the landfill, Rahulu Willy showed me the place where they compact the bottles and from the bailing machine, they forklift them to the truck and then from the truck they take them to be sold to their clients. When we got involved with Masikitele, I meet these amazing women who are the spirit of free enterprise. And I said to Willie, but we've got a partnership in heaven. He said, why, did you bring some food? And I said, no, I said, but we have some answers. And that's how Muscatelli was actually born. Rahulu Willi took me to a lady named Ellen, who works with some women from the Palabura community on making bags and making products from material that is made from the bottles that they collect at the landfill. What's the difference between Roka Dibeke Cheke and Lilo Jere? Dibeke Cheke is a machine that I make. Oh, okay. I find the machine that I make. They run a project where they teach the ladies how to use industrial sewing machines, teach them how to sew with the specific material because it's not the same as normal fabric. This is a stony ginger beer bottle, believe oh it or word. not. What? 
Yeah. The community, from what Ellen was telling me, is really struggling with unemployment and the unemployment rate is at about 82% from what she said and that was 2021's statistics. But little by little, everyone's kind of making a way for themselves. And that was really nice to see.